This is some really cool uh, spy news. An FDA executive officer was caught in a hidden camera. Uh huh. Saying that Biden will force an annual COVID shot that would be a recurring fountain of revenue for drug firms. Oof. Shut the oh, fuck up! Oh goodness! Wow! 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 A wow, spy wow. for Project Veritas uh, oh. disguised herself as like basically uh, was dating the exec and got on camera all this stuff. Just listen I mean, to a little. What the fuck, dude? Like this is what I've been saying, and people have been calling us conspiracy theorists. So this guy, yeah, he, but this, this guy is an oh, it's actual. He's an video. FDA executive officer for like 20 plus years. This is not just some random. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So just listen to what he says, and then I'll continue with everything else that's stemming from this. But like, check this out. Biden wants to inoculate as many people as possible. So you have to get an annual shot. He hasn't been formally announced. Why did the angle change? They don't want to like, uh, it keeps keeps talking about it. The drug companies, the food companies, the vaccine companies. So they pay us hundreds of millions of dollars a year to... That's a clear hidden camera though, huh? The reviewers to approve their products. If they can get every person required at an annual vaccine, that is a recurring return of... Um, uh, money. This is crazy, dude. This is nuts. I mean, just from everything I've heard, they're not going to not approve this. Meet Christopher. Dude. dude okay. So, so here's the thing, right? Like, this is what pisses me the fuck off. Is a lot of people always question the integrity of why are why are the government going so, so fucking far to force people to get vaccinated if the science already says that the vaccinations don't really fucking do shit where in the very beginning they're like okay if you're vaccinated you can't get other people sick you're immune to it whatever right and then on top of that it's at this point where okay what's really going on and then they're calling you a fucking fringe anti-vaxxer especially what they're doing to the truckers in canada yeah. i was like what the fuck but here, here's the thing and i'm gonna explain this to you the vaccines ha only work if people get them. 100%, yeah. That's yeah. the issue, right? So when you say, hey, you're gonna get vaccinated, it's not a cure. Obviously, yeah. no, no, but that, you were saying, but even the way you just said it, like, yeah. I'm gonna get vaccinated, I'm gonna still get COVID. Yeah. Of course, of course, no, no, yeah, yeah right? I know that. So, but like a lot of people don't operate no, no. that way. But then the news literally said, if you get the vaccine, yeah. you can't get sick. Yeah. That's they, mismanagement, they I agree with that. They, they fucked that up, they, they botched that up, right? Yeah. So that's either, yeah. they're not doing their homework, they're either lying, right. or they're fucking stupid, right? Because I knew that if I get the flu shot, I could still get the it's flu. Yeah. Everyone that understands viruses, vaccines, if you get how it works, but, but, but yeah. the fucking news lied. And this is why I was like, wait a minute, why are they saying this? And then I was like, it's probably money motivated. Yeah. Of course, know. like everything else in this country. Right. But, but also too, there was a, they had, I forgot this guy's name, but he was a researcher and he's like, a, he's, he's, he's in the vaccine field and he was working with, with Pfizer and all these uh -huh. companies, but he's kind of an independent party and he's a researcher. So okay. he was on Lex Friedman's podcast and he was talking about how, um, in the beginning, they all thought in the scientific community that the vaccine would be able to stop you from getting COVID. Completely. Uh, like, completely. That's okay. what they, as a, the scientific community that was developing it, they thought that was the thing. And then later they found out with more testing that it wasn't the case. Right, so that's I think that is yeah that I mean, that could be an issue. It, like it's, it's a combination of having the news cycle, social yeah. media, yeah, and people just commenting every ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Whereas mm -hmm. like back in the day, they would have spent yeah. years, and no, yeah. none of us would know any of this yeah. information. Right, but it now any dumb revealed. fuck yeah. can yeah. go on the internet and, and be like, burp, 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 burp. and their opinion is equated and like, the same dude, and the same yeah. like yeah. level yeah. of legitimacy. I've gone into arguments with friends who are like, I'm not getting the vaccine. I'm like, that's cool, dude. But then you're gonna have to eat shit when things happen. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, also, where are you getting your information from? Yeah. And they send me like a fucking live journal. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, see, this is why you're an idiot. You're an idiot not because you don't wanna get the vaccine, it's because you literally can't tell the difference between a medical journel and a fucking, That's like, thing. marble notebook. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, and anybody can have a fucking like, WordPress yeah, like, site. Yeah, yeah. Like, Even if you gave them a study, though, this is the other half of it, too. It's like, how many, like, I'm too stupid to understand, like, what's on a fucking yeah, study. A so, like, oh, exactly. You can even read a scientific journal yeah. and then not understand it. Exactly. Because, so that's, that's what that's college the, is for. You have to learn. To but then, like, instead of asking your parents, mm -hmm. Ask your doctor. Yeah, like you know, instead like, of asking yeah. your best friend, <laughs> instead of me being like, "Yo, Nick, what do you think of the, the COVID?" Let me tell you, I heard on this like, podcast. Can you tell me how what mRNA works? Well, like, <laughs> oh yeah, to, for sure. The, I feel like the people that I'm talking to about this, they're like, "I read a study," and like, 
Did what you read? Study? Did you so read? Yeah. Did you, all you have to say is what study, yeah. and if they can't tell you the study, yeah. and most of the time they can't, no, or if they do, <laughs> then I look at it and it's like it's this isn't a study. This is like a like a not even a full like summary of the study. No, this is like a headline not. about a study. The vaccination obviously helps with death. The vaccination helps with mitigating spread, and if you're not obese or over the age of sixty or have like a illness that makes you high risk, chances are you're gonna be okay, Dude, statistically. Have... But here's the thing, this is the moral issue. Are you okay with not being vaccinated and being the jackass who kills everyone's grandmother? Yeah. <laughs> like, that's really what the question is. Like, do I think you're gonna get COVID and die? No. Yeah. Dude. What does the math say? You will survive. But what does the math say? You could get COVID and then kill 95 grandmothers. Granny kill streak. But the math on that is high. But if you have the vaccine and if you could still get COVID, then you, you could still get grandmas killed. No, but the, the, the viral count, so, so this is where science comes into play. The viral count of someone who is vaccinated versus unvaccinated are completely different. So yeah. with the viral and count, they're less contagious. Correct. And they show a, a, like a, more people are getting vaccinated, right? Yeah. Then they're also showing more people are getting infected, but there's way less deaths because of the fact that more people- Well, actually there's way more deaths with Omicron than there is Delta. Really? Because it just spreads so much. Mm, it spreads so much. Is that worldwide but or is that in the US? In the U I believe in the US, but Omicron mm -hmm. is less deadly than Delta. But there's just more people getting it. But more people oh, are getting it. More maybe, so more it's like, it's like It's like different because the pool of people who are exposed to yeah. Omicron is way higher. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh yeah, there's more deaths. But if you take the ratio of people dying from oh, Omicron see, versus see, see. Delta, the percentage for Delta is higher. So it's more deadly. In so a like, way. see, it goes back to the media. Yeah. So what is the media gonna do? Exactly. How do we get our money? More people are dying of Omicron. Dude, run, everyone run. Like, they had the, story they, the toilet. They had this guy named John <laughs> Abrams and he's like a, he is a, another medical researcher guy uh, and he he's writing books against like big pharma and he was talking about like he's like dude this vaccine is a very good vaccine it's it, it's like it's pretty solid but he says where it gets fishy with Pfizer and where we kind of think oh these guys are fucking conspiracy they're like yeah. they're, they're up to some shit is they are going to dominate the sales in the first world they're gonna sell their vaccine to the people that will have the money to buy it. Yeah. But these other countries, like the third world countries, are not, they're getting a, like maybe a quarter of these vaccines and they're the people that need it the most. Correct. But because of their, they're not getting these vaccines, they're more likely to have new variants and that will go back to the US. Like this will spread oh, and it will okay. create more of an issue. So if we're not but getting the vaccine the world, worldwide. Aren't the third world countries not dropping like flies and they don't even have I that? have no idea. Yeah, There's no a idea. quick answer to that no one wants to talk about. It's because half our country's obese. That's a big yeah. idea. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for I mean, sure. Like, and no one wants to really, yeah, hit they, that topic. But no one wants to talk about preventative medicine. Yeah. Yeah, 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 which yeah. like obviously right. like, you know, we all know this coming from, you know, fitness and stuff. Like the best way to not get sick is just to be healthy. Is to be healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Like for example, if you eat well, and exercise shower, regularly, and exercise, but then sleep. never sleep. Yeah, or you're gonna fun. get sick, yeah. right? <laughs> so it's like you have to do the combination <laughs> all of, it, of yeah. all of it. All if you leave one, if you if you exercise and sleep well and you have good hygiene, but then eat McDonald's every day, like you're gonna be a pig. But yeah. McDonald's is wonderful. Yeah, you know the common awesome. denominator. Dude, I told you, forty chicken nuggets. Put so it in the, front of me right so now. The commonality <laughs> of all the deaths of COVID was a vitamin D deficiency, which means that they weren't getting sun. They weren't. You know, I don't have. I have a vitamin D deficiency. Oh, really? You better get some sun, bro. I know it's really strange, right? You know what? <laughs> so all this stuff makes sense, right? What do you think? But, uh, I need a tan. <laughs> but the crazy thing right now that we're all witnessing are the hit pieces against people who might just be maybe criticizing you know, certain companies mm. that are related to COVID or maybe the mandates or whatever. And the, the, the outright smearing of people that are legitimate, you know, virologists or doctors or whatever, that shit blows my mind. Such as Robert Malone, when he was on Joe Rogan, this whole thing about Joe Rogan spreading misinformation of COVID, I looked into that. And really, Ma Robert Malone was one of the uh, virologists that invented mRNA technology. He actually got canceled before Joe Rogan and uh, that's why Joe Rogan wanted to have him on. To talk about it? Was like, Wait, why did he get canceled before that? I have no idea. A but lot was, of people he was think getting, he's on the fringe. He was getting why. silenced, and, scientific and then so I think that's why Joe Rogan wanted to bring him on. He's like, this guy needs a megaphone. He, he sometimes, he apparently the criticism that Robert Malone got for that podcast is that he's making these claims that aren't necessarily 
100% backed by the scientific community and as far as the consensus of like, mm. but he you also, could say that, but, but he also, but you can't jump to that. But it's not peer reviewed, okay. right? But he also yeah, invented like, the mRNA and he has more patents than anyone else in that, in, in that. Yeah, video. but then you, know, you cool. still have to get a bunch of people to review that. <laughs> like you can't just be. Yeah, like if one doctor says that's cool, but then yeah. a thousand doctors have to say, we agree with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then, then you say, okay, this works, right? But I also think that's why the open discussion is important rather than just, you shut up, yeah. I shut up. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally yeah. agree with you. But that also makes it way more fishy, right? When they block yeah. a voice yeah. from this guy, yeah. because in reality it's like, okay, so other news companies that are, are way better, like yeah. like say like Breaking Points, they're a yeah. really good news company. They said, okay, we see that Robert Malone said these claims, so we're gonna bring other experts yeah. in the field yeah. to, yeah. to point by point deduce and, and figure out why what he said was how we could add more context yeah, and have yeah, a clear yeah, yeah. picture to these claims that he's saying. So, but he's also like, it's not that he's completely wrong. Correct. It's just there were a couple of things where he needed to clarify a little bit better. Well, I, I think it's just like, you know, with the sort of the cancellation stuff, it comes down to social responsibility, right? Mm -hmm. In the sense of you can bring these guests on mm -hmm. and you can have these discussions, but then it's your job to then give the whole picture, mm -hmm. right? If people are complaining about Joe Rogan being like, oh, you're spreading this bullshit, mm -hmm. then Joe Rogan should have two people who are from the science community, or 10 people from the science community, and be like, let's talk about this together. I would love that. So we can have a full picture discussion. Yeah, yeah. Then you maybe you'll see eight doctors disagree with two. Mm. And so then the viewer goes, okay, there's some validity to what they're saying, but it's not necessarily the whole thing. 80% of the community says they're wrong, mm. right? Yeah. So then you go, okay, maybe the science is leaning towards this way. And this is the thing, is science is always changing. Yeah. We're always learning more. And this is yeah. why it's so stupid when they go, just believe the science. Yeah. It's like, you. No, it's no. not a finite, it's not it's, a finite thing. It, you're right, yeah. but they're taking that to an extreme. You get the people who are like, I'm gonna read Mary's line journal. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, that's not science. <laughs> it's not. So it has to be challenged. It has to be reviewed. Yeah. That's a separate yeah. issue. Yeah. But the thing is, when you go to these other side, like these extreme people yeah. who are like conspiracy theories and you're like okay I hear you but here's the mountain of information read through it they're like no way yeah no fucking way no, yeah. and then you go well then what are we doing here what's yeah. the what's that's, happening that's why I also like what Russell Brand has been coming out with because I think what he's also doing and it's cool that everything's coming out in layers right like you have like the eight doctors versus the two and then Russell Brand comes out but do you see who writes the paychecks to these eight doctors I agree with that yeah. Yeah. follow the money yeah, exactly. yeah. follow the money yeah. but this is like when Donald Trump had that like Jamaican doctor who was like the oh, vaccine's yeah. gonna turn you into a devil right. <laughs> and then you, all of a sudden half the country was like yeah yeah. And then you're like, well, this is ridiculous, right? Like, this is extreme. This is almost borderline, like, like Magic the Gathering. Shit, right? like, what's going on here, right? And then you're like, huh? And so there's a fine line, but there is. You do follow the money. Yeah. But this is why ph pharmaceutical companies. And that's why that one's, that video is so scary. This is, why, this is why it's crazy to me. It's because why do people believe that this kind of shit is just so fringe and just so crazy that it they can't are, happen? And then, and then when we talk about it, right? They just want to shut it down. And I'm just like, what the fuck? This is the conversations that you need to have because we need to have everybody in charge that we rely on to being fucking, keeping the integrity of yeah. the medical well, that's, community. That's the reaction to this guy. Guy is they're all just saying I hate not know what he's talking about like that's what um, FDA is like oh the FDA doesn't know what they're talking about what, what, the FDA said he's not in a position oh to have known what he was talking about of course because oh they're gonna cover up the track yeah. but listen listen to a little bit oh more of what he says it's visually really long like but like hell, hell there's 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 a little bit more to it what he's like saying so you have to get an annual shot I mean it hasn't been formally announced yet so you don't want to like uh, rile everyone up there's is it going to be formally announced yeah yeah at some point I mean, it's going to be, uh, uh, and some of it's been talked about publicly, but it has been talked about on like CNN or Fox or MSNBC or anything. Um, but yeah, it'll, 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 you'll have to get uh, an annual. I think um, what's going to happen is um, it's going to be a gradual thing. School's going to mandate it. Why do they need the third one? Well, the same reason um, you or I would need the third one, because the, the vaccine, um, it means. Mm -hmm. Um, your ability to fight it, it waits, so the three will bolster your, your system. And then there will be an annual, um, eventually an annual, just like the flu shot. For the toddlers? Well, for everyone. 
Okay, so the top. I mean, this makes sense. Like, 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 like what he's saying is not egregious. That's yeah. That might, Scientifically, yeah. That's, that's what that's, that's the nature of mRNA. Yeah. So, like it, it only lasts six months. But like also, are people like throwing up in arms about the flu shot when they yeah. invented the flu shot? When they were like, hey, we're gonna have to take this. Well, what's, yeah. where's the part where he's talking about he's gonna make a ton of fucking money? I think that's the tone. The tone of I mean, it. Yeah. Is, oh, yeah. Because the government order, but like, who cares? This is yeah. like if they make it mandatory, and this is I don't know. Like you don't have to pay for the COVID vaccine. I haven't been had to pay for. Money. You don't have to pay, yeah. so it's not like it's not a loss to us. The it's government's gonna pay. Dollars. It's just tax. Well, it's dollars. tax dollars. Yeah. But this yeah. is why healthcare should be universal. Yeah. This here's is why. Here's a little key thing he said that a lot of people are kind of freaking out about is this state statement. Here. What do you mean you don't agree with the process? Well, I mean they um they don't have all the all the tests aren't there. <laughs> so I agree with the thing that is important that is so to awesome. inoculate them. Um, but you can't. Yeah, that's one of the biggest cons. Yeah, that's one of the biggest controversies, right? Is they're rolling out the vaccine to uh, toddlers and kids, and then they're so, so that's one of Robert Malone's arguments. He's like, it's not ready yet. Don't fucking do it. It's not ready. I'm against that. He's talking about for kids. Yeah. Yes, he's vaccinated, but he goes, but it's not ready to roll out for uh, the youth yet. And then so, did That's he say, did he give an age like under 10 or like the, uh, the three and under? It was for toddlers basically. Okay. He was like really against so that. Really and then they're like, uh, they have to do more testing. They're like, and then, and then I guess it's a conflict of interest because the guys that want to roll it out, they're going to make a lot of money off of yeah. it. So then that's the whole issue right now. Well, that's, that's the thing that he's saying is that, um, like she's asking him, do you really think it's an emergency for toddlers to like have this? And he's like, it doesn't matter. Like if it's an, if everything's under an emergency state, everything gets approved faster. Mm. So they're trying to get through that window, you know. It's all right, we'll know in 10 years if we grow like a third limb. I know, I'm trying right? to get that third limb. I'm still waiting for that fun G to kick in. Yeah, like, <laughs> if there's any time for me to turn into a yeah. mutant, it's now.